Hi, this is Russ Anderson. I'm going to run through an example of the integration between SynthEyes and Motion 3. So I have a shot that is a helicopter flyover of a soccer field. And suppose I want to do some things to that field. So I'm going to start out by setting up a coordinate system using a couple of the trackers that uh, I've solved on the field itself. With that coordinate system now set up, I can go over to the 3D panel and create a plane on the surface of the field. And there's a special feature in the Motion 3 exporter going out of SynthEyes that lets you send these planes directly to Motion. And they appear in Motion as a drop zone, which makes it easy to to do things with them there. Now there's also a script in SynthEyes that uh, lets you set the aspect ratio of the plane. In this case we'll make it a 16 to 9 plane and that makes things uh, easier to handle inside of uh, motion. So I'm just going to go and now just scale that back down while preserving the aspect ratio of the plane. So I have a, a plane there, it's going to go to motion you can also export any of the trackers. So maybe I'll take this one tracker up on the hill for the heck of it. And uh, I'm just going to take it. And I'm going to leave it as the one exportable one and make all these other ones not exportable. So now we're ready to go to Motion. So we'll fire up the Motion 3 exporter. And there's a scaling factor here that uh, makes life easier. Normally the coordinates uh, in, in SynthEyes are sent directly. Uh, the default setting would put 20 units between these two trackers as part of the standard STAR-3 uh, coordinate system setup. But since Motion 3 works in pixels completely, we just throw in an extra scaling factor that you can set here factor of around 100 works out reasonably well to help you you know not have all of your scenes always be too small so that that distance between those two trackers is going to wind up being 2000 units instead of just 20 we can also select whether or not we want to export the trackers set up the size of the trackers and so on we'll just uh, send things off and now bring up motion and let's open up that file. Now we have the same setup inside of motion as we did inside of synthize basically. We've got that drop zone. There's the other drop zone uh, lurking around on the hill up there. Make everything fit so we can see it. There's a drop zone up there as well. So you know, the drop zones are now standard uh, motion 3 zones so I can just drop some image into that and adjust it however I like. Um, normally you just use, you know, probably use a uh, video clip, maybe that's the, the point of setting that aspect ratio that I did initially. Um, here we'll just uh, adjust it to make that little burn in logo come out okay. So now I've, I've dropped something into the shot. I can render this out, uh, do whatever I want, add other effects to it. So you know you can send as many different planes as you want and and build up the layers. You know Motion 3 isn't terrific at handling you know the couple hundred or thousand uh, trackers you might have in SynthEyes. So instead this uh, method of setting sending the planes directly makes it easier to set things up directly inside of SynthEyes and then just send a motion 
the things, you know, the places where you actually need stuff. So that's a nice way to work. Thanks. Hope you enjoy the show.